Today, I'll show you how I built this beautiful smooth parallax hero section from my website where the text travels through the images like this. And overall, it feels like a surreal experience scrolling through this. I'll show you how to make this in the free version of Elementor, not Elementor Pro. And we won't use any plugin for this. We'll just paste a little bit of code that I've already added to the description along with a JSON file. So you can easily import this and create this design. But you should know that I've actually created a very quick demo here to show you the effect. But with a little bit of time spent in design, you can create a parallax effect like this as well. All the steps are the same that I'll show. It's just that a different set of images have been used and some settings are different. But by watching me do the steps, you will be able to create your parallax like this or even like this one. This is the advanced one that we will start with. And by the end of the video, you will know how to create all different types of styles. First, some disclaimers. I am doing this on a staging site to be safe. And second, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so let's start with a blank page. I'll head to my dashboard, create a new page and name it this. Next, click on edit with Elementor and change the page layout to Elementor canvas. Now let's add a container and make it full width. Change the height to this and keep it aligned to the center. I'll also set the gap to zero like this and add a background image. I leave all the assets in the description below so you can download and use them. All right, let's go to style, select the background and add the first layer, which is the Aurora. I'll make some adjustments to this image like this. Set the height to 100VH, set the padding to 0 and our first layer is complete. For the second layer, I'm going to drag the image widget and add the mountain layer. Let's set the position as absolute and negative offset at the bottom. This is to maintain the scroll effect between all the layers and ensure everything looks good in the final design. Next up, I'll add a CSS class. So I'll go here and add it like this. All right, for the third layer, I'll drag another image widget like this, then add the image and adjust it like the other layers. For the image resolution, I'll choose this and for the position, I'll pick absolute. Then I'll add a negative vertical orientation. Let's stick with this value. Okay, finally, I'll add a Z index and CSS class like this. All right, this layer is complete and I'll use the same style for the next one. So let's duplicate this. Let's add the image for this layer. And again, make the same adjustments for it. Also, I'll change the Z-index and the CSS class for this layer as well. Okay, our mountain layer is complete. Let's add some text to the design. I'll drag the text widget and here I'll add the text. Then I'll go to advanced and add a Z-index like this. Uh, okay, this doesn't look good. So I'll do some quick style changes for it. All right, this looks good. So let's add another set of layers. So I'll add the image and make it an absolute. For the position, let's set it to the bottom vertical orientation and add some negative offset. After this, we will add some Z index. Okay, this looks great. But now we need to make the effect work. For that, I'll drag an HTML widget and place it here. Now, just go to the description, copy the code and paste it here. 
This is how it's looking right now, but it needs some surface to it. To add that, let's add a new container and adjust it like this. Then I'll add the background image and make it fit with the other layers. Okay, I understand this looks complicated, but don't worry, it's all going to come together at the end. So hang in there. Next up, I'll add another image widget and add this image with the car upside down to create the mirror effect. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I think it needs some fine tuning. So let me just do that. I'll set the position to absolute and the offset to this. Let's also change the Z index to five. Now let's copy this image and paste it here. I'll change the image to this inverted mountain image and set the opacity to this. Let's also change the offset to this and do the same with the other mountain layers. And once done, it should look something like this. As you can see, there's a cool mirror effect to the images. Okay, let's finish the design now. I'll just copy and paste this heading widget here and change the text like this. Let's also add a stroke effect and make the color transparent. Now let's add a navigation button as well. So let's drag a button widget and change the text from here. After some quick adjustments, my button is ready. And with that, the design is ready. Let's preview the page and take a look. Now, you can see that we have made the effect I showed you earlier. And if you want to create a different style like this, just make the changes to the images, which you can screenshot and use later. I've also added the assets for both designs so you can follow along and create them for your site. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.